Hi there, I'm Sophie Jane Hardy. I'm the Communications Director at Red School and I'm here with Zoe Chan, who was a graduate of our Menstruality Leadership Programme just this past year in 2021. And Zoe, you're going to share a bit about your experience of being on the programme. So what I'd love to hear first is what inspired you to say yes? Well, I was invited by another Taiwanese player. Uh, she is also in the same program with me in 2021. And she is a working partner with me for many years uh, because we are selling uh, reusable products, menstrual, um, reusable menstrual care products in Hong Kong and Taiwan. And that's why we are business partner and, and always uh, like interact with each other uh, talking about menstrual education in Hong Kong and Taiwan and in Asia and we would love to explore more about um, different ways to talk about menstruation so uh, she invited me and originally I have lost the chance because I apply it late but very luckily I have a um, a vacancy afterwards and and the team told me that I can I can join, see if I still available, and and that's why I I am in and I finished the program last year. Brilliant! Oh, so you just snuck in at the end there. That's great. Right. <laughs> it's more like originally almost lose this opportunity, but I still can get it. Brilliant. Yeah. How did it change your experience of your own cycle and your own menstruation? Um, I guess for me, it's more like an exercise for me to explore the mental part of what I feel when I on my period and how it is just how how it changes when I am on my period because I guess for many Hong Kong people or people who live in a busy city always forget about our body and always we get anything that any message that from our body or from our mind so uh, through the almost like nine months program uh, remind me to do exercise and with my team and groups so that I can try to spend more time with my body so I guess this is the rewarding and the, the most rewardable uh, experience that I have and also help me to spot out like sometimes why I have those down feeling or why I will have such insight when I'm on period so yeah it inspired me a lot in this part. Brilliant I love hearing about how it's helped you to be more in your body and with your team as well could you share about the impact of that how has it helped you in your work and with your team? Uh, originally, uh, we do a lot of uh, sharing or education uh, more on the biological side, sharing information or products information to Hong Kong people. But after I know more about the mentality uh, that Red School taught me, um, we start talking about the emotional part with other people. Uh, the spiritual part uh, that we can try to find a place or we can try, try to find a time to listen to what our uh, body want to tell us. So um, we also like import uh, related uh, toolkit for people to try to explore their cycle like which, in which they uh, what do you feel or uh, try to keep a track not just only how many how much flow on period but also the emotion and the and other surrounding um, uh, body message that your body is telling you so we are working on seems like we are working on a new area that uh, how the menstruation can like with us or the menstruation, menstruation can can touch us new things. So true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, what was it like to be on the program and what was it like to learn with Alexandra and Shani? 
Uh, they are very humble and they are very good to meet us to the to the exercise and and our group leader also are very good at uh, facilitate the meditation so um for a busy people like us that not always spare time to do meditation or do spare time to talk to our own self um those facility those um uh, uh Lead, leading and guiding is very important because if you just like hearing the recording, sometimes you will like off track or you are not focused. But for the live, uh, live call and the one-to-one -one section is very good for me to try to get into my heart and, and try to uh, really talk to my own body. So uh, after this, I just, try to or learn, want to learn the facilitation skills that uh, this really helps me or really I think that it's very useful for people to uh, to be more connect with your own self. Mm -hmm. What would you say was your favorite part of the program? Mm -hmm. I love the, there is an exercise called Inside Council that in group of four that people can uh, say any ideas that she want to create or she want to achieve. And with the other group members will have different ways for let you know how you can be more confident in your idea. I guess this is a very, powerful tools that um, not only for menstruator to can be can be experienced they can this kind of confidence that your body or your community can give you but for every people that who have any vision or ideas that is is a very good um, tools for us to connect with the community and making more or creating more great projects that towards a better life mm, that's great you've just shared one of the kind of secret things that is part of the program which is the insight council yeah. um, and there are a few you know there's the live sessions there's the teachings on the website there's your home groups with your mentor there's your listening partnerships there's lots of aspects that we promote and then there are some little hidden gems in there too right. like the inside council I'm so glad <laughs> that that was really yeah, good you, for you. you it's a very like surprisingly uh, very we are first so moved when we do the exercise with among our group members so we think that not just only talking about the majority part but also the community support is very crucial in this program that uh, we can hear from people what they think or after the exercise, how we feel that yeah. that one is a very powerful one. Yeah, yeah. Um, is there anything else that you'd like to share? In fact, I would love to hear how um, how you think it's helped you to lead, how it's helped your leadership, how it's helped you feel, to feel more confident to lead. Um, for the one to one uh, uh, clinic section with our mentor, give us give me like a, a lot of power that actually my body is telling me that I have such power to be good or to to execute the thing that I want to execute but in reality I always is lack of confidence or I, I'm always afraid is it will it be success and after the exercise I find that sometimes it's just uh, I just really get the body telling me that I am strong enough to do so. But but yeah, and and the exercise really guide me or really give me power that I should be more confident in what I am doing. Because in Hong Kong, it's very hard to talk about uh, mental education in 
not uh, not in a biological way or even in for the new products is very hard to promote in Hong Kong. And uh, uh, I'm just like only only people that working very hard in this part in my community in my area. But um, after the meditation, it she just tells me that I, I can work keep working and and will be will be will be successful. Could you tell us a bit more about Half Period, your your company and what you're doing? Good. Um, Half Period started in 2014 and we tried, at that time there were no many, not many uh, menstrual care products uh, like menstrual cups or cloth pack in Hong Kong. And uh, after we explore a different kind of product overseas, we tried to import uh, different kinds of product. Uh, to give accessibility to Hong Kong people that we can more easy to have our own choice other than just only disposable uh, packs. And we also do a lot of education in Hong Kong, working with uh, universities, secondary schools, even with some corporate training, uh, social worker training. We try to give a message that um, menstruation is not a taboo, that uh, is also a gender inclusive education for everyone. We also do boys school menstrual talk for, for them because we think oh, yeah. that um, in the community, you, are, yeah, you, you, you will have menstruator and non-menstruator together. And it's very crucial for you to understand other groups uh, concern or other groups needs, which we, why we think that menstruation is or talking about menstruation, or just only talk to girls, but also like everyone, so that we can have a more gender friendly and, and gender equal society. And so that's why we have sales, but also we have education program together and working in Hong Kong. Fantastic. Zoe, thank you for the amazing thank work you're you. doing to yeah. bring menstruality into Hong Kong and to bring the reusable products. And thank you so much for taking the time to be with us today. Thank you. Thank you so much.